Joining us this morning is Lansing City Clerk Chris Swope. Tomorrow's a big day in the city. That's right. It's our city election. So we've got our mayor's office, half of our city council and uh, the city clerk's office up for yeah. for election tomorrow. Opportunity to ask you. So what are some common questions that you get asked about voting? And so mm -hmm. I want to know what those are and the answers to those questions. Okay, sure. You know, people always want to know where they vote and what they need to bring with them. So if they aren't voting by absentee ballot, uh, then uh, they should have a voter ID card that's been mailed to them uh, when they when they moved. Um, or they can go to LansingVotes.com and double check that location. The polls are open from 7 a.m. until 8 o'clock p.m. And we, it, it makes it a little bit smoother if you bring your photo ID, your driver's license, or Michigan ID. If you don't bring that, uh, there's a little bit of extra paperwork. Okay. And another one is, I was issued an absentee ballot, but I want to vote in person. So what do I need to do? So what, what we want folks to do is bring that absentee ballot with them. They'll surrender that and get a new ballot at their polling place if they want to vote in person. Okay. Um, if they still have a ballot, uh, they can turn it in up until 8 o'clock election night if they do still want to use that absentee ballot. And we do have 15 drop boxes across the city. Um, it's a little bit too late to count on the mail right now because we have to have it in hand by 8 o'clock. Uh, but we do have those 15 drop boxes that they can use. Well, I, wanna, I want you to say that again because I know there's people out there right, right now that have a ballot <laughs> right. that are like, oh, what do I do? Tomorrow, right. like right, yeah, yeah. So you got to fill it out. You have to make sure you sign the outside of that envelope, mm -hmm. um, seal it up, and get it into one of our drop boxes or into one of our offices. We have an office very convenient at 2500 South Washington. You can drive right up. There's free, convenient parking, um, or you can visit our city hall office if you like to go downtown. Um, we have a drop box outside of either of those. But if you're more comfortable handing it to a person, you can walk in the door and hand that ballot off. What if somebody just moved into the area, wants to vote tomorrow, can they still do that? Well, uh, if you've lived in the area for in, in the city for at least 30 days and mm -hmm. you're not registered, you can register right up until 8 o'clock election day. Okay. Um, we do need you to bring uh, some proof of your residency and proof of your identity, um, but you can register right up until the very last minute. All right, you can vote from home, vote early, or vote election day. Chris Swope, and we put your information on the screen. Thank Great. you so much. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. All right.